Alright, what up y'all, Planet of the Fake for Kids, you know, this is another terrible story, and that was one of the first reporting on it, Cannon Hennings and Darius Sessoms, the five-year-old boy that was supposedly executed by a neighbor, come to find out the father, he's not squeaky clean, in fact, he was probably doing some things he wasn't supposed to be doing. The story got switched up, changed up to make it look like some type of racist, driven, child execution, but may not have been that. Check this out. And again, send prayers out to the family. This is devastating. But let's read some of these memes going around. Just to be clear, we did not find, and this is the police, we did not find any evidence to back the version of events the family has been claiming. The parents of Cannon claim their son has been shot at random for riding his bike into the neighbor's yard. This is not accurate. The version of events the suspect gave the police after his arrest was that Cannon's father invited him over earlier in the day to do drugs. They later got into an altercation. After getting high, Darius claims he struck Cannon by accident via a stray bullet while aiming for the child's father. Preliminary evidence has so far lined up with the suspect's version of events. Both the suspect and the parents had prior history of drug use offense. While Cannon's father did admit that he invited Darius over during the day, he has refused to tell authorities what it is that they were doing when police got on the scene the father of the child was under the influence of what seemed to be some kind of illegal narcotic we haven't found any proof of this being a pre-planned intentional motivation or intent to kill the child both of cannons parents are now under criminal investigation in wake of the new revelations the GoFundMe for the family has been suspended indefinitely until the parents are cleared both of canon parents have refused to take a lie detector test as requested by our agency it gets worse all right so we have ethan kilgore here who was so spiffy and so swift to post statuses and stats search results for articles about George Floyd on CNN 1705 MSNBC 100 ABC 53,377 search results for articles about Cannon Hinnon CNN 0 MSNBC 0 ABC 0 Let's go to Even Kilgore on Twitter now to see if he's reporting that the father is a meth head and meth dealer and this was some type of meth, crystal meth dispute. Crystal, dudes high on crystal meth shooting guns? I don't care why Cannon was killed. The fact that Cannon was killed is what bothers me. And if it was behind some drug deal and the parents just tried to lie to hide that drug stuff, they need to go to jail too. But let's go to Kilgore. Alright, so I was over at Kilgore's and this is him on August 14th. A lot of Joe Biden stuff, Joe Biden stuff. In conclusion, masks are stupid and don't do anything. That is all. That's a funny one. This one caught my eye, however. What they really want from a ninja Somebody let me know What they really want from a ninja Somebody let me know Let's get back to things The only thing at the end of the day Is Jesus Christ That's funny right there He 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 TV Anyway let's just keep going Here we go right here I wanted to see this You wanted us to say George Floyd's name We did We want you to say Cannon Hennon's name Other than that We have nothing else Donald Trump stuff um, Al Sharpton protests at UPS Reminders has never been a popo I don't know none of this No more Hennon No more Cannon stuff whatsoever So that was just that. You see all this. No more. He's not reporting that the father was a meth dealer. He just moves on with other stuff. 
Yeah, they just drop that in their feed, keep it moving. They don't care if it's updated that this was some type of botch drug deal. No problem, let's get back to festivities. Now the internet's been clapping back. This is Desi Tubbs. Someone please explain Justin for Cannon. His killer was arrested and charged. That's how the justice system works. What is it you're demanding exactly? Hmm. What else we got in here? Stop using a child's murder as a point in your race war. You only want media attention because he was murdered by a black man, a criminal, not an officer sworn under oath to serve and protect your constitutional right to a fair trial. This family will not have to fight for justice because it will be served to them on a silver platter as it should be. However, Tamir Rice family along with Breonna Taylor's family deserves the same justice served on the exact same silver platter. Celebrate this child's life, mourn his loss, but mourn his loss, but please don't use him as a pawn to please your own personal political agenda. Can't argue with that. I seen conservatives, and this is fifty shades of way. I've seen conservatives ask where are the protests for Cannon Hennon? The killer wasn't a civil servant, the killer was caught, the killer will be jailed for life. This is this was a swift and appropriate response by the criminal justice system. However, the justice for Darius Sessom's group is here. It's more. Alright, this is an interview the father did about a day ago. Right? And I want you to keep in mind, while he's on the news, the truth of the story is he knew this guy, so his wife is there. You just saw her arm there. But the truth is he knew this guy. They basically smoked meth together. And they had some type of argument and dispute. And the dude came back with a gun, fired shots at him, mistakenly hitting his five-year-old. I don't... I don't know how that is going to help the defense, but it is going to get the um, capital murder off the table. But I want y'all to check out this father playing cool and collective as he's lying. And he looks too pleasant for me, but let's see. Hi, Bruce. For eight years. Describe your relationship with Sessoms. Have have you had any contact with him in the past? Uh, we had just been cordial neighbors, like anybody else. We'd speak when we saw one another, and he may walk over and talk to me for a few moments, vice versa. Um, I did offer him to have dinner with me the Saturday, uh, the day before the shooting. And he, he had dinner with me, so I'm not sure what led up to this event. So you say the two of you did have dinner prior to this shooting? Right there. This is where all the lies begin. So he's just claiming that he offered this neighbor dinner out of the blue. Just out the blue. Yeah, just out the blue. Because he was grilling some chicken here. And he invited them over so they could drink a beer. This, that, and the third lie. They were using crystal meth together. The high sent them into some whatever. They got into an altercation. Sessom goes to either the car or comes back with a pistol. Arguing with the father at his home. Opens fires for whatever reason. Kills a five-year-old. This father is trying to cover up the fact they were using crystal meth together. You shouldn't be on the news then. You should be avoiding interviews. in his truck or in his car and he looked like he had a lot on his on his mind and I was cooking chicken on the grill so I invited him into my home because we had extra food as we're supporters of God and I just told him that God tells us to love our neighbors so can you describe his personality his demeanor the night that you saw him um, yeah we don't need to hear that you heard him huh um the night that Look, you see how he looks away with them beady eyes? Knowing that he's lying. They're meth heads. He sold them some meth. Probably some home-cooked trash, bull crap. And dude ain't like it at all and came back bugging out. Probably thinking he was going to die. Off crystal meth. 
I had dinner together. His demeanor was fine. We we shared a beer together on the front porch. As a shared a beer together on the front porch. Trying to make this a good old boy scene. No man, you your wife him smoking meth in the house. He bugged out. Thought you poisoned them. Came back with the gun to kill you. This is how tweaking he was. Came back with a gun to kill you on crystal meth. Killed your five-year-old. You're on the news telling this story right here. Uh, chicken cooked, and once it was done, him and I both went in and made a play along with my fiance and my three children. My fiance sat with my three children at the kitchen table while me and him sat on the sofa at the coffee table. And what was your conversation like with him? Um... They seem to be paired. Sat on the float bed, coffee table. I want to rewind that. What's your conversation like with him? Um, they seem to be paired. A beer together on the front porch as the uh, chicken cooked. And once it was done, him and I both went in and made a play along with my fiance and my three children. My fiance sat with my three children at the kitchen table while me and him sat on the sofa at the coffee table. And what was your conversation like with him? Um, he seemed to be paranoid that he thought a lot of people were trying to set him up. I think he may have had some dealings, and I know he had a prior record, so I don't know exactly what it was about, but I felt like he... That's enough there. He knows damn well that they get arrested for crystal meth here and there. He probably sold him crystal meth. That other guy sold him some crystal meth. Who knows? But one thing, Len, maybe I'm getting it wrong. Who sold who the crystal meth? Hmm. Now, this girl, she jumped the gun right as soon as it came out. She did her little video because a lot of people are just using this to combat black lives matter like um canon hennens if anybody wanted to do a justice for canon or canon life matter nothing's stopping them from doing it they want people to stop what they're doing to do something else oh, this boy's life this boy's life mattered you probably have no idea who he is and won't recognize his name when I tell you it. But I'm sure if I flashed up these pictures, you'd be able to tell me. Now, that was racially motivated there. I don't see why you have to compare crimes. They're all tragic events. But this is what people use. Now, keep in mind, the father had some type of crystal meth dealings with somebody that somebody came back to the home and did the unthinkable this is why you don't do things at your home with certain people definitely not under the influence of crystal meth but let's let her run it with this was just a random racial killing and he wanted to take out a five-year-old based on skin color and everybody's ignoring the fact that this was a racial killing. All of their names, when they died, and who killed them. So why isn't Cannon Hennens, a five-year-old boy who was shot in the head and killed while riding his bike this week, receiving the same attention that criminals like George Floyd and Michael Brown did? Where are all the protests? Because no doubt is similar to black on black crime that you constantly bring up but I also want to say people in the comments are saying the difference is this guy Darius Sessoms isn't a sworn paid took an oath to protect the laws employee of the state city or federal government there this is just a random dude high off crystal meth that the father probably either sold him or got for him that was some beat he wanted his money back. Dude didn't give him his money back. He came back with a gun high on some fake crystal meth. Shoots his five-year-old in the head. This is terrible. This story is just disgusting. Test. Where are... Just found out his father is a meth dealer. 
and that was some type of meth deal gone wrong? Where are the parents to tell the true side of the story? We heard enough of her, or have we? Are all the marches, and where is the national outrage? There is none, and the reason is very simple. Because Cannon was white, and his killer was black. Therefore, his life isn't important to Democrats. See how she looked away? By the way. So y'all saw that. Let's see if I can find Cannon's mother. This got too much. All right, so I looked for Cannon's mother. I could not find her. Knowing the father is some type of meth head. And that's not even the father right here. This is like just some neighbor witness dude. Because I didn't see no tattoo on the neck of the father that was on the news. So that's not even the father right there. That's just some dude that was on the news. Tattoo neck dude. But yo, prayers out to Cannon. Do need a book thrown at him. Yeah, I don't think him being high on crystal meth, having a fallout, is justification for a five-year-old getting killed. You understand what I'm saying? Just to avoid this, he needs to be an example of what not to be doing, and the parents need to be charged as well. I know you really don't want to do that. Not the parents, but the fiancé. The fiancé and the father need to be charged if they lie to, to the police as far as what led up to the shooting and things like that, man. Even though they don't have to say anything, I'm not saying locking them up for remaining silent. I'm saying locking them up for telling a lie and trying to obstruct justice, you know what I'm saying? So check this out right here, plan of the fix. With that being said, what you heard and saw was the content. For additional content, click the link in the description. Like, follow, share, subscribe, comment. Hit the bell, visit my community wall. And if you have time, go to www.amore-eka.com backslash TV. That's our Planet of the Face 2. We are the new umbrella. Planet of